Hi, Katie Weston here, Program and Events Manager at Anderson Japanese Gardens in Rockford, Illinois, and I'm joined by my son Henry here. And we are going to do some fun art activities with some organic materials. You might still be able to find if you search and rifle through the snow a little bit that you might be experiencing. Here in the Midwest, it gets pretty cold and snowy at times, and we start to get a little bored with finding things to do outside and inside to, to get us through to the spring. So we find some things to kind of count us down till we get there. And uh, we went outside and found some mostly stuff that I pulled out of pots that I never emptied at the end of the year because I'm definitely not working out in the garden. I work in the office because that's where I'm, I'm better suited. So the two things that we did was um, two different techniques with similar, two different outcomes with similar techniques, I should say. So one we made into a fun little um, happy winter card and we used the organic materials that we found in this case, um, little pieces of grass that were left in one of my potted plants and then some um, pine needles that we had that were in one of my little winter things. I dropped my little, my little guy. Um, and then we used them as almost like stamps. So we added some um, paint to them. I, in this case, just used paint I had around the house. Uh, you can use any kind of paint, tempera paint, acrylic paint, whatever. He probably used watercolor, wouldn't turn out so much. Um, even leftover paint they might've used to paint your walls. Um, and a little sponge applicator, you could use a, a paintbrush. It's just what I happen to have. And then the one that Henry is going to be demoing that he kind of started laying out here is he found uh, materials, the leaves, things like that, sticks. And then we're going to use them to create the empty space is what's going to create our design on the paper. So the white spaces are what we used um, our organic material. We're going to tape them down. Um, we found that that's easier to keep them in place. So then we're going to, um, in this instance, use a roller uh, that Henry's got over there that we're going to roll the paint over top of it. And then we're going to use the absence of color to create the focal point on this one um, in particular. And if you'll notice on both of them, we tried to do our best to make sure that we, um, you know, brought the, the pieces of organic material off the paper. We put them in, you know, multiple directions. Um, if you are interested in art in any way, you'll know that you wanna make sure that those things kind of go off the paper and create interesting pattern. So that's part of what we made sure that we did. So I'm gonna quickly show you this one while Henry has some pre-cut little scotch tape over here and that he's gonna start taping things down on the paper. If he needs some help, of course, he'll always ask an adult. The one thing I will say that we're gonna make sure that we do when we tape this on is instead of going, um, instead of making an X or going perpendicular to the, to the thing that we're using, we wanna go parallel to it so when we're doing this stick, for example, okay. the reason I say that, obviously the other way isn't necessarily wrong, but we wanna keep as little amount of tape on the paper as possible so that um, we see as much of the white space just being the piece of um, material that we put on there. Okay, so while Henry's doing that, and you hold it down in a few places, yeah. so like this um, leaf, for example, we'll put a little piece at the top and a little piece at the bottom, yeah. and so then it stays. Okay, so to do our little card or not card, you don't have to do a card. It's pretty quick and simple. So I'm gonna take my little um, piece of grass that I had and I have over here behind my, um, behind my card some green paint and I'm just going to paint on and I've attempted to protect my, my table. Uh, I'm not very good at protecting it if I pull this paper up you will notice a lot of orange and green and all kinds of colors on there and then I'm just going to start laying it down and like I said before we want to um, vary how we're putting it on there so don't make them all go the same direction don't make them all the same height and you don't necessarily have to put paint on every single time because then what it does is it varies the pattern and texture of the piece of, of grass that you're using and I use my finger to, um, to push it down. This is a little bit of a messy project. And then um, if I held this up really close to the screen, you would notice that my finger is smudging the paint a little bit. I actually really like the way that it looks, so I just leave it. 
And so I'm just gonna do this one more time. I'm gonna put a couple more on. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna try not to be too um, picky because I can be critical. And if you don't have any of these, yep. if you don't wanna have a lot of these or these, um, you could, I thought uh, you could uh, cut up strips of paper. Yeah, you them. could cut paper, you could tear paper, so then you have some, um, jagged edges mm -hmm. so basically i just took that piece of grass i painted on the back of it and then i just i mean i really literally like threw it on the paper pushed it down and then varied that so it looks like it could look like grass and in this case i'm kind of trying to make it look like uh, stems of a leaf or i'm sorry stems of a of a flower see this is why i don't work out in the garden i work in the office then I'm gonna take, in this case, I used the pine needles. So I'm gonna take the pine needles. You could use a leaf and you and do that at the top. You could use um, a, a, an actual flower if for some reason you happen to have one in your house that you can use. In this instance, I am going to use my pine needles. So I'm just gonna splay my pine needles out. I'm gonna grab some color. I kind of just have random colors on here. And then I'm just gonna paint those colors on to my pine needles. Henry, how's your paint or your tape in coming? This is all taped down. All right, so I'll be done in just a second okay. and then... I'm going to use all the pieces because I sure. have paint Okay, and then I'm just going to take my pine needles, I'm going to lay them out and then I'm just going to press on them a little bit. Again, this is a bit of a messy project and that's okay. Or it's way more fun when it's messy, in my opinion. Me too. And then we're just going to lay it on there and if I need to grab more paint, I grab more paint. Throw it on my pine needles. Splay them out there. So and then push on them. Come on. Right, and again, you can reuse it. You don't necessarily have to put paint on every time. Then what it does is it varies the texture of your fun little flowers or I think sometimes this looks like wheat is what it reminds me of and then I did happen to have some little plant material that I had found um, again left over from when I didn't actually empty my potted plants like I suppose most people do and then you could just dab it in into the paint and make a fun little fun sprigs of color on there so we'll do some of that to create a little bit of little something or another and then I could like I did with the other one do a fun little message on in the inside and send these to people that you might not be able to see right now because you know some people still aren't able to travel and see loved ones and friends so there is my little um, winter card made out of my organic materials that I found uh, outside still in the winter that may be left over from summer or fall so while I was doing that so that we don't have to be on here too long and you can actually get to the end of the project to see what it looks like. Henry here pre-designed where he wanted his things. Henry chose to do his a little different than mine where I like to cross things over. He's making his a little bit more abstract in the sense that he's keeping them separate. He wants to see each thing and that's okay. He's got stuff going off the paper. He's got stuff fully on the paper. Uh, that's the fun thing about art. It's really never wrong. It's just what you want it to be. So then Henry's gonna take his roller and I'm gonna help him just to make sure that some of these longer pieces stay put, which I may put, do we have no more tape? Oh, you used all the tape? Yeah, I got it. Let's just use one more piece really quick, right in the middle here, cause yeah. that big long piece could be a problem. Okay, so then this could be done with a paintbrush if you're doing it with a paintbrush and with this, I probably should have watered this paint down a little bit to be honest with you. Um, if you are using a paintbrush, add a little bit of water to your paint and then it'll go over this really easily. Okay, so Henry's gonna do his little roll quick and he put three different colors on here. So he's gonna end up hopefully with a little bit more of a rainbow of color in some spots. These paint plates are, yeah, that's okay. Just roll the, throw the clump on there, it'll roll out. It's a great thing about rollers. Okay, and I'll hold that down for you. Thank you. Pine needles maybe go that way, go with the pine needles so you don't push yeah. them up. How's that? Yeah. There we go. I'm get and then with the roller, you gotta you gotta push it a little bit to get the paint spread out. So 
it I gets all over the paper but the roller makes it fun too because you get a nice little bit of texture from the roller as well i uh, recommend doing the uh, uh if you have if you have pine needles doing the pine needles first because they're the hardest they're the hardest to do to, yeah. okay why don't you get a little bit more paint and then you can start in another spot and really the rolling shouldn't take a ton of time here go ahead there you go give it a nice good roll get to an open spot there you go put a little over there so you get a nice variety of color there you go. get everything nice and covered up i picked um red yellow and orange because it they're all wait because why did you pick them because you like them no because they're warm colors yep for some reason, I thought that uh, I forgot. I, I, you were gonna call them cool colors. No, I was. Or your question was gonna, second. I was. I was. I thought. I was like. I was about to say it. And then you second guessed yourself. Yeah, and then I thought, oh well, is yellow one? And, but I think it is. It reminds me of like fire or a really pretty sunset. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Which you can get some really pretty sunsets in the winter. That's for sure. And they're early enough that sometimes I can see them because I'm not already asleep, like in the summer. <laughs> Those nine o'clock sunsets, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get a little bit more paint and finish off the bottom here. Why don't you roll into that yellow a little bit so that you can get some of it. Because yep. as we keep rolling, we're kind of eliminating some of the, which is okay, some of the uh, variation in color because when we're mixing red and yellow, it makes Orange. It makes orange, right. Get to the edge and then let's do that little corner real quick here. We got paint on our table. Beautiful. There's paint all over this table. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get it off. We'll clean it. Okay. So now that we mostly have that rolled, yeah. we could spend a little bit more time for it, but for the sake of the video so that you guys can see how this works. Oh yeah, I take them. Then, oh, you tape the sides down. That Whoops. makes sense. That's okay. Then what we'll do is I'll have Henry help me. And because we're using paper, we'll, you know, I did scotch tape because it's a little bit easier to get off. You know, pull it off pretty lightly. Otherwise, you might do a little paper ripping. There we go. We'll grab a hold. And the nice thing, because the paint makes the tape a little wet, it comes off a bit easier. Yeah. And if we wanted to, we could paint those edges that we Missed. ended up make or where the tape is where you see the like yeah you know the squares or rectangles or whatever it is that's that was I, created uh, we could do that um, that's where a uh, paintbrush is good because that one kind of ended up just like a little yeah it looks like a square it looks like a square that's all right mini lace i can't get, Can that, you get, one it? I can't get that one off there we go And so we could just That's take nice. a little piece of that. It looks beautiful. We could just take a little sponge or something and we could work in these little areas yeah. that maybe look weird, a little strange because we used the tape. And we could just fill those in. These are going to be a little darker because I used my brush. But I, I, I kind of like it. So nice. We're just adding some accent pieces. Yeah. You never know what a sunset is going to be. Sometimes it's pink, sometimes it's orange, sometimes it's red. It's a million different colors here. I'll blend this in a little bit and I'll stop being so critical because I do that sometimes. And let's get that untaped. Yeah. And then there we go. Then you can see all those outlines of the thank you of what we made. A little fun project. Shouldn't take too long. We got two of them done in like 14 minutes. So I say that's not too bad. I uh, hope you enjoy doing this together as a family or friends or by yourself if you wanted to, too. Get yourself outside and find some fun things to work with. And until we see you in the garden again soon in the spring, be safe, be well, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.